My camera's on? What do you want the world to know about you? Even with having a disability like I have, um, that you can still live a very normal and fulfilled life. Um, you know, I'm married, have been for 16 years, and I have two kids who are 11 and 13, and I'm very happy. What is it like having a mom who's blind? Eh, it's not much different. Like, I was, just came to know that, so. Do you even think about it? No. He was born into this, so this is all he knows, so it makes me feel good that he feels that way. What would surprise people the most about your mom? Uh, she's not much different than anyone. I told my mom and dad from a young age that I wanted to have a lot of kids, but I settled for two. Tell me about your parents. Um, well, they've always been there since day one with having all the surgeries and doctor appointments and well, they've always been supportive of anything and everything I've wanted to do. Would you say your mom's a good mom? Yes. What makes her a good mom? She's willing to help a lot and she likes to talk about things no matter what. What was it like when Sarah was first born? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Nervous at first when she was first born, but it was wonderful. I mean, yeah. this is, I remember her pushing along on the floor with her little head on the ground. She had a helmet on because she kept pushing her along on her head, mm. you know, then climbing on the back of the chairs and rocking like crazy and driving us nuts. And mm -mm. She was a climber. Yeah. Then she got older and she wanted to see how far she'd get and she'd sneak out of the house and take off. I got a call one night. She had went to the house next door and asked if the girls could come out and play at night. They're like, uh, Sarah's here. <laughs> so she laugh and say, how far did I get this time? You know. <laughs> so you were always a go-getter. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Were you proud of her for that? Oh, yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. To get, and, and, and uh, to succeed in the way that Sarah has throughout the years, going through school, growing up, having her own family. Tell me about your husband. He was only supposed to be a homecoming date. And uh, I asked him to go to my homecoming because he's a few years older than I am. And uh, he went and we've just been inseparable. We got along very well, which I don't get along with that well with too many people mm -hmm. at all. So, I mean, that was nice. <laughs> yeah. Why was it easy to get along with Sarah? I think it's because we both had a common interest in music. Like, we both like music a lot. I love it. I, You know, it's nice to have someone to have your back. And, you know, um, he's always there for me. Even if, you know, you might not agree with, you know, something I've done, he always has my back. Who asked who out? Uh, I asked her out. <laughs> what did you think when he did? I said, yeah. I was her last choice, so, you know, so I kind of, yeah, and then it started from there, really. Is that true? He was your last choice? He was the only choice. <laughs> but that makes it the last, though. That's <laughs> make it the last. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, I've been with them for 18 years, so I think that we're perfect for each other. Even when we're just sitting here hanging out, playing on our phones, we still seem to enjoy each other's company. And yeah, we've been together for 18 years and almost uh, married for almost 16. I just think it was our modeling as, as loving parents and we love each other so much that they saw this is how it, it should be. What's your favorite thing about Sarah? That she's okay with listening to me when I ramble on forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's no lie. <laughs> he rambles on forever? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I like it because then I don't have to think of nothing to talk about. <laughs> what type of thing does he ramble on about? Everything. Everything. What did you two think when she first told you about Roger? 
I kind of knew about Roger oh. because he'd always say, how's Sarah? Tell Sarah I said hi. You know? uh, I gave the, him her number. <laughs> the typical father response, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, after a while that thaws, but at first it was like, eh. Really what I really like to do is she's got certain friends that are extreme liberals. And so I will argue like an extreme conservative side. I'm not even freaking conservative. I just, I just like to annoy him. You're a button pusher. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm very good at it too. Do you like that he's a button pusher? Mm, <laughs> not always. Yeah, because I get her mom going too, a lot. <laughs> so you're saying even in marriage, you don't have to like everything about the person? <laughs> no. I appreciate No, but he's a, he's a good person, so. Does Roger ever push your buttons? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. he gets me quick and I know he's doing it on purpose and he <laughs> and she just smiles or she'll chuckle <laughs> you know she knows what he's doing is that what's important to you that she's happy yes yeah yeah it I don't mind it tell me about your mom she's pretty nice oh god I didn't plan for this um I like to help her. She's pretty fun, and she likes music as well, like the same stuff I do. What is your mom like? Um, I don't really know. <laughs> um, probably, um, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm nervous. Yeah. You get nervous sometimes, Allison? Mm-hmm. What makes you nervous? I don't know, really being, like, in front of people or being on camera. Well, you're very strong for doing this then. Yeah. You're doing a great job. Do you provide advice for Allison when she is nervous? Oh, yeah. What do you tell her? Um, that it's okay to be nervous. I gave birth to them, and so at the end of the day, if anything, it doesn't matter what they do, I'll always be there. Always. Are you happy your mom's your mom? Yeah. Why? Because she's cool. Uh -huh. And she has a lot of music like I do. And a lot of interesting knowledge every now and then. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do with your mom? Mm, listen to music or uh, talk. I knew it. What type of bands do you listen to together? Uh, there's Hollywood Undead, Mindless Self-Indulgence, Slaughter to Prevail, <laughs> Rammstein. Li literally anything. Rock. What's the most important thing your mom has taught you? Um, I don't know. I don't know that much about the past. That it's okay to be yourself. Um, true. There's that. <laughs> What's the most important thing for others to understand about you? Um, just that if even though I have a disability, I'm just like everyone else, you know. When you go into a restaurant, sometimes you'll have, you know, the waitresses, they don't know, you know, that they can talk to me. They always want to talk to, you know, get my order from somebody else. And, like, my husband will have to be like, you know, she can tell you what she wants. What is it like to have a blind wife? Oh. You know, it's not really, I don't think it'd be really much different than anything else. I mean, she does everything everybody else does. I mean, she can't drive, but I mean, but no, I mean, it's, I don't see, like, there's no, like, big obstacles or nothing. I've never, no. it's just, it's become more normal than anything. Is it something, like, at this point you don't even really think about? Not usually. I mean, I, I never really, like, put a lot of thought into it even beforehand. I mean... Maybe the first couple of months or so before we even got married, but oh, yeah. after that, it's just, just don't even think about it. When Sarah was growing up, what type of things did you do to accommodate her around the house? Oh, I took um, Q-tips and broke them in half and set them on the dials in the washing machine, where to match up to, to start the washing machine. And then, you know, the dryer's not a biggie. No. And, uh, yeah, she would do her own laundry. Oh, when and she then was for cooking, 
for cooking, we just encouraged her not to use the stove, but to use the microwave yeah. and to count to 30. I said, count to 30, then check it, and then yeah. another yeah. 30 and check it. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah, when your parents were having you do those things, were you happy to do it or did you put up yeah. a fight? No, I like doing stuff for myself. Yeah, it shows me independence. Are there any little things you have to do around the house just to accommodate Sarah? Not moving furniture around. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever make that mistake in the early stages of the relationship? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. When, I, when I rearranged the bedroom, like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I rearranged the bedroom one day, and I'm like, oh, yeah, by the way, I rearranged the bedroom, and she forgot about it. Yeah. <laughs> and ran and, and yeah. ran into <laughs> bed frame. Mom. But he'll help me with, like, putting food in certain places, you know, in the cupboard. Like, if I have canned food that I want, he'll put it in a certain spot. Do you think having a mom who has disabilities has made you the person you are at all? A little bit. How so? Um, more independence, I would say. How has that made you more independent? I'm just used to doing more things for myself. I like to do more things for myself. What type of thing did he do for himself as he was growing up? Um, well... Definitely, um, one of the first things that I remember teaching him was how to make his own bowl of cereal. And he was probably five, six years old making his own bowl of cereal. Um, you know, th that's one thing is, I, I do stuff for them, but they are very independent. Um, you know, I was just away for a month in the hospital and they had to they had to pick up a lot of the slack when I was gone. What is your diagnosis? I have Golden Heart Syndrome. What is that? Um, it is something I don't know a lot about it. Um, I know that it was something that happened in like the first trimester of the pregnancy, and I've had a lot of surgeries and yeah. Are the blindness and the Golden Heart, Golden Heart Syndrome connected? No. No. But there, with Golden Heart, um, you can get the facial, well you do, you get the facial deformities and um, like they could be missing an ear canal, which Cheryl was. I actually can't hear out of my right ear. They tried to build an ear canal, but it didn't really work. Her um, eye socket didn't form all the way. There was no eye ever in her right side as well as that's the side for the ear canal. That was the more affected. Yeah, I was born um, totally blind. What's it like being totally blind? Um, well, because I was born that way, I don't know any different. So I was just raised to, you know, like my brother and sister, they're sighted. So I was just raised right along with them. And they have issues with their skeletal system as well. Her spine is fr is fused from the base of her head down to her hips. And she started with Harrington rods about junior high and then just a year ago, two years ago two years. now, yeah, they, yeah. yeah, she had her neck fused and they attached it to the top of the Harrington rods. And, you know, so that's another thing because vertebrae didn't form right. What is the best way somebody can accommodate you? Well, definitely by talking to me and not the people that are with me and knowing um, them to know that, you know, I'm just like everyone else. They just have to maybe read things to me or, you know, do that. But I would say that's really about it. You must be awfully proud of Sarah. Oh, yes. oh yes. yes, yes, most definitely. Mm -hmm. She's accomplished a lot, and she is just like everybody else, mm -hmm. just like everybody else, just yeah. other than she don't see. Yep. And like exactly. Sarah said, though she doesn't know what it's like to see, so yeah, is there really something to miss? I just want people to know that you know, just because you have certain challenges in life, it doesn't mean that you have to be held back. You can still be productive even if it is you know just being a wife and a mom you know to me that that's success what's it like having a mom who is blind um, 
it's not really that hard. Um, it, I, I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Because, um, uh, I forgot. I don't know. It's easy because, um, uh, I don't know. That's all right. I don't really know. Is it something you think about a lot or is it kind of just, you know, it's what it is? Yeah, it's, it, it's what it is. They were born into that, you know, having a mom that had to do things different. You know, a lot of kids when they're a year, year and a half, they point at what they want. Whereas my kids, they couldn't really do that. So they had to learn at a young age, hey, I have to, I have to talk. I have to speak up. So instead of pointing, they would just tell you what they wanted? Yeah, I mean, it took time, but yeah, they, they adjusted. Do you and your mom ever argue? No. No. Really? That's no lie. Why not? Because there's not really any reason to argue. Yeah. Like, we're very similar with the same opinions most of the time. So there really is no use to argue. No, we, we do we get along really well. I'm lucky. How have you created such a close bond with your son? I don't know. I think just always being around. I've always been constant since day one. How do you stay focused on positivity and love? Um, well, I'm probably by being really careful about who I surround myself with because that has a very big uh, impact on you. I think if you're around negative people then that tends to bring you down and so just being around positive people and you know just doing positive stuff. Do you have a secret that's helped you be successful in a marriage for was it 18 years? No just talk. Communi communicate, we don't argue, we discuss things like, yeah. well, like adults should discuss things. Yeah. We don't argue, we don't raise our voice. It's, you know, I mean, we, so we can, well, we communicate and discuss so we can see the other person's side of view. I mean, yeah. even if we don't agree with it, at least we're discussing it. And yeah. Like, well, no, that's civil. No, that's fucking stupid. Like, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, in the end, you know, it's, in the end she gets her way and I just deal with it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> So you're playful, you push buttons, but you don't argue? No. What's no. the difference? Uh, you know, like, usually usually when it comes to pushing buttons, it's all in good fun. And, it is. You know, and I just like to get people going and, like, just because it, it's fun. Like, you know, and most people that know me know that I like to get people going. But, you know, it's... But I don't argue. I won't, I won't argue, like, raise my voice arguing. I, I don't. Um... But no, I just, I, don't know, I think when you get mad, it just, you just ruin all your view. Your train of thought just goes in the wrong direction as soon as you mm. get mad. There's no point in doing it. Would you agree with him, Sarah? Yeah, I do. Well, thank you for doing this. Yeah. You, know, this you come fun. through the door and I was a little starstruck. I got, <laughs> I got to say it. I keep saying, don't say it, that sounds dumb. But I was, I was starstruck. Because I, to me, you're like, you're amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, it wouldn't be possible without people like you, Sarah, sharing your story and feeling yes. comfortable advocating. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, I know I know it's normal to you. At this point, everything's normal to me. But the truth is, there's a lot of people out there who just there's don't have not. exposure to different disabilities. No. Yeah, I, yeah. I, know. I know. No, I remember people staring at us as we'd be going through the <laughs> store, and I'd just hold my head up. Proud, yeah, yeah. proud as hell. Yeah. You know, this is my daughter. She's different, but yeah. I love her, and she's great. Yeah. 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 Do you think that contributed a lot to how confident you are, Sarah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If like we were in the store and little children would be <laughs> staring, I'd say, "Do you want to meet Sarah? This yeah. is Sarah, you know." Da da da. And yep, they'd meet her. They'd ask her a question if they needed to. Yeah, or they I'd weren't. Just tell they weren't scared either. And, they were curious you know, and eager to learn. Yeah. You yeah. know, and yeah. So that made it. That's easy. why I always say, you know, ask questions. Yeah. Because you're not going to learn or know anything if you don't ask questions. 